Hi everybody, it's Mercy and I'm back again with yet another video. This one is to show you the stuff, um, if you saw my previous video I was talking about that I am going to try to be more of a planner person. So I have been trying to get into all of the planner stuff. So I went ahead and I made a page layout. And this is for last week, the week that we are just finishing now. Obviously, nothing's been written in it because I did it midweek just to figure out how it goes. So anyway, let me go ahead and start off with the whole entire thing. Okay, so my planner is the Martha Stewart, Stewart cover and it has the arc system. And these are the rings for it and I have the ones that are the expanded ones, the bigger ones and let me see January and then when I buy the planner pages the, the calendar pages they look let me switch over to next week they look like this where for you guys you know they go up and down mine are horizontal instead of vertical days so mine is a little different from everybody else's so that's why it's difficult for me to find stuff because everybody is making them for the happy planner or for the Erin Condren one so I can't use those basically um, or at least I haven't tried to use them so anyway so what I did is I went on YouTube and I saw a video on how to make your own planner sheets planner stickers so I saw that you just get a square you make a square I had measured it I thought that I had measured correctly so that way the sticker would be in the whole box but obviously I didn't I did too much I added my own um, designs from some gra um, background paper that I have on my computer and then I made the lines and they're supposed to be like an ombre and then a reverse ombre being that I wanted the heart to match the line you know I was being like super picky about all that stuff and everything else it did not go well and um, I don't like how it came out I don't know if you can really tell on here but it's not like the colors aren't vivid it's not really I'm not loving it basically I'm just not loving it um, I love the washi this washi tape I've had forever and I can't remember where I got it but I'm guessing that this was probably like last Christmas um, but this paper I've had this washi I've had for a while and that's the one thing on the page that I really like these butterflies are from the Dollar Tree I'm guessing and they're like super mega old years upon years old whatever so I also found um, I went on Pinterest and I wanted to find an inspirational quote to put in here I was trying to do like everybody else does whatever so this is the planner that I came up with I am not loving it um, but at least it gave me some sort of an idea of what to do so as I had said in the last video when I was looking up how to make planner stickers um, I saw that it had said to buy the Avery sticker paper so I looked up the Avery sticker paper and they sell it on Amazon and then I also looked at my local office supply stores so that way I could get it right away rather than ordering it from Amazon so I saw that they had it at Office Max this morning well this afternoon whatever I went ahead and I went over to Office Max to go get some and when I got there on OfficeMax.com it says that it's 15 sheets for $12.99 but when I went to the school store and I found it in a different place than all the other Avery stickers it's over in another spot where they have like the CD labels and so on and so forth it has like a whole bunch of other stuff um, I saw that at the store site, which the prices are different the store than online, it was fifteen ninety six. It was sixteen bucks for fifteen sheets. So then I said, wait a minute, let me go see the regular eight and a half by eleven sheet of Avery stickers, and this is eighty one sixty five, and let me see what quality of paper that is. So I looked at the quality, and basically it's exactly the same quality so you're just getting the same paper 
but you're paying so much more for it on the other you know just because it's sticker paper so this is exactly the same thing eight and a half by eleven a full sheet so i can print the whole entire thing all the stickers on here whatever now here's the thing i had some of these left over from when i had bought them for the boys to make um you know the labels for their folders and their composition books and everything else and these are four to a page i'm not sure if you guys can see it very well but there's four on here to a page and this is avery 5168 so when i made my layout i used the 5168 paper and this was just like a trial run so this wasn't like for real and you can see that i had printed it on like i didn't even care that it was printing over different lines because i was going to cut it by hand and everything else but i just wanted to see what it was going to look like and this is what i got it to now the problem is that the quality of the paper seems to me like it's the same so the sticker paper is the same as this paper, which is the same as this paper. So I'm guessing that I'm not going to have those beautiful, vivid colors that people get when they get their planner stickers from their Etsy shops. Um, the other day I was watching a video, can't remember who it was from, but um, they had bought from Bello XO Planning on Etsy and they had the cutest little tiny stickers and they're kawaii and they're just so adorable so I wanted to make some but it doesn't come out nearly as good as it does for the other place. This is another Pinterest one that I had found. I'm not sure if you can see it. It says, always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. And I printed this one because I saw that it's black. I love the verse, obviously. But then it has little lights on it, like if it's New Year's. But if you can see, like the quality of the printing, of my printing, is not very good. However, and then I printed a whole mess of these as well. It doesn't look as beautiful as I see it on everybody else's planner. However, I know that when you go to those Etsy so shops, it can get like super expensive. Like each one of the sheets of paper, like two or three dollars. And then they ship them out to you and everything else. Like that becomes very expensive, especially since you're using it for like maybe a week or two weeks worth of a page. So I thought that that was ridiculous expensive. So what I'm going to do is I just bought this for $13 got me 25 sheets the sticker paper which is what i think is the same quality is 15 sheets for 16 dollars i got almost twice as much as the sticker sheet paper and i paid a few dollars less by getting just this one which is the 8165 I'm just going to go ahead i had purchased on the silhouette because i have the subscription with the silhouette cameo i had um, gotten some of the the planner stickers and even the file for the planner stickers on the silhouette um, store is five dollars and ninety nine cents it's like ridiculous expensive so I had gotten a whole mass before when they were having some kind of a sale so that's why I paid I probably paid $30, um, I'm sorry, $3 for each one of the files, and I have a few of them on there. So that is what I had printed, like this is one of the files, and this is the smaller version, because I had printed the bigger version, and I had put it, I had made the layout with the bigger version, I didn't like it, like you can see right here where I had taken the tape off of what I had pasted before, and I took it off because I just did not love it and I w wanted to do my own so I printed this file out it has the the half sheets it has the whole sheet it has the little to do titles it has the little heart checklist it has the longer heart checklist which is somewhere here so it has all of this stuff now i have seen that some places online you can get some of the files for free so i'm going to go on to those to try to get the files for free 
um, so I can start planning them out and whatever. Then the next thing, because I did notice on this one that I made, what really made everything so cute was the washi tape. So unlike other people, I do not have a huge collection of washi tape. I have maybe 10 rolls of washi tape and many of those are the same um, pattern. So what I did, um, it's same pattern, same color. So I had seen that somebody had gotten these and I think it's like um, Crafty Chick something or other. I forgot who it was, but she does the Homeless Planner Hauls and Dollar Tree Hauls. And she had posted that she had gotten these. And I had never seen these at Michael's because, yet again, I never go to Michael's. So I went ahead and I said, okay, these are $13 each with the 40% off coupon. It comes out to $8.54 after tax here in South Florida of 7%. Um, for each one and then for that money I get one two three four five six seven eight washi tape eight rolls and then it has different eight different designs so I figured okay this is a much better deal if I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the washi thing I might as well buy this where I'm not gonna go crazy and spend like a million dollars even though yes this is very expensive each one is really um, you know, it's to anybody's taste, whatever. Um, so I went ahead and I started going crazy on these. I do not have all the colors, but I do have some. This one is the Royal Blue, and this one is actually on clearance now. So it's $5.99. So if you guys like this one, I suggest you go out and try to get it at your Michaels. Then I got the silver one, and I'm not sure. I'm sure that you guys have seen this. A million times but each one is a different design but all the all of them are the same so it's always gonna be the stripe the polka dot and then this sort of like X design the chevron with the big and small the big polka dot the big stripe the smaller polka dot with the inverse colors and then the glitter down here so then I got the silver I got the red um, I got the turquoise, I got the light pink, I got the black, I got the coral color, I got the gold, and I got the yellow, and then the last one I got is the craft. And the difference between the craft and the gold it is almost the same. It's just that the gold is just a tiny bit um, shinier than the craft. But the color is basically the same. And then the last one, this one's glitter and this one's not. That's the only difference that I see in them. So I am missing some. I'm missing the green, the lavender, the navy color, the purple, and the light blue. So I will be getting those so that way I can be done with the washi problem. And that way I'll have enough for all of my planner, all of my washi needs here. So I'm going to go ahead um, and look out for those colors. I'm just missing five more. I might as well have the whole collection, right? So I'm going to look for those five more and be done with it. Then I'm going to print out more of the stickers. I'm going to start planning. And I am also going to find more of the inspirational. I think that somebody had shown that there is a place that you can find a sheet of these inspirational quotes to print out. Um, I'm going to play around with the settings too of my printer and see if maybe it's just the settings of my printer because normally my printer does not print this ugly. So I'm going to play around with that too. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and look around for stuff and then I'll probably be making another video so you guys can see um, what I come up with for the next one because I figure that if I start making videos about every time that I make a planner layout that is going to make me force me to plan and that is going to force me to actually use it so and I want to show you guys the the whole entire layout before I start writing on it because like one of them is going to be like bills and stuff and the other one is going to be um like school stuff 
so you guys might not be interested in any any of that stuff so anyway um this is my first planner video i hope you guys enjoy please remember to like comment and subscribe thanks bye